Section 3.1 is the properties of linear functions. I would pause the video and write down these notes. So we have two types of the line right here. We have slope intercept form y equals mx plus b and then a type of point slope form. We just move the y1 over with everything else. Rate of change or slope is always constant. Um, this is just your how you find average rate of change. Change in y over change in x. This is the slope formula. If your slope is positive, then you're getting bigger, you're increasing the entire time. If your slope is negative, you're getting smaller, so you're decreasing. If your slope is equal to zero, that means you're a horizontal line, so you're constant. So you're, here we have two lines. Go ahead and pause the video and graph these two lines. So the first one's in slope-intercept form, so 7 is your y-intercept, so I plot that here. And then you have a slope of negative 3, so this is decreasing. So every time you go over 1, you're going to go down 3. So this is what this line looks like. This one is in point-slope form. So you have a point of 2, negative 1. So I plotted that here in red. And then you have a slope of 1 half, so up 1 over 2. And so that's this line. And it's increasing because your slope is positive. So here we have two tables, and we want to decide whether these two functions are linear based on their average rate of change. So finding their change in y over change in x. So go ahead and pause the video and find the average rates of change between these given points and figure out whether these two are linear or not. So in all of these, I found the change in y and the change in x for both of these. So if you do the change in y over the change in x, for this first one, if you notice, every single one of these ends up being a negative 3. Every time you increase 1 in the x's, the y's decrease by 3. So since all of these are all the same, this one is in fact linear. For the other one, I also did the change in y's and the change in x's. Again, all of these increase by 1. That won't always happen in a table, so make sure you look at that carefully. So we did the change in y's over the change in x's. For this one, if you look at the change in the delta y over delta x, you notice they're not the same. They're increasing every single time, so this one is not linear. Linear equations, linear functions have a constant rate of change.